All right, so a while ago, I talked about an indie game studio, Overhand Interactive, currently making a kickboxing game, kickboxing slash Muay Thai game. And uh, this is getting pretty goddamn serious. So let's, let's actually go back and start from the very first footage that they uploaded to their YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is Overhand Interactive. I'm going to leave a link to the channel in the description below. Let's start with the very first gameplay teaser that they uploaded five months ago, right? This is our first in introduction to what these guys are working on. As you can see, this looks like, like a, a kickboxing game. They've got headgear on, boxing gloves, shin guards, and you can see that the, the movement style and the, the animation style, they're going for like a fast-paced um, style of kickboxing. And... Even then, just seeing this very, very early in development, I remember thinking, bro, this is this looks absolutely incredible. I remember commenting on how I, I love how zoomed in the camera is so you can kind of see the whole entire characters. And I love um, how the graphics look even, even at this this early stage. You get a knockout right there. Um, watching this again right here. Loving some of these animations, loving how snappy they are, how powerful they look. You see the rotation of the shoulder, the rotation of the of the hip. It doesn't look like they're freaking pity pat punching, you know. It looks like they're actually putting their weight behind each shot. The leg kicks look nice. Look at that. Beautiful leg kick animation. The way the combinations are flowing. I mean, look at that beautiful knee to the body, to the head, to the body, to the head. Nice uppercut. Knee, beautiful forward moving knee to the body, bro. Like, even at this point, we knew, bro, this game has a lot of potential. Like, it looks fantastic. So, this is the very first, uh, the very first footage that we that we had seen of this game. And I remember thinking to myself, dude, it, you know, it's it's an indie game developer. It's gonna be a minute. It's gonna be a long time before they actually get to where they need to get to. But Let's go right back. Three months ago, they upload this very short clip right here. And you can already see more polish, right? As you're watching, it's like pre-alpha gameplay. You can already see more polish. The animations are a little bit smoother. Things are not as exactly as janky as they was uh, in the very first one that we saw. And then, next one they uploaded was two months ago. Once again, things are also looking cleaner. The jabs are looking cleaner. The boxing combinations, now they're showcasing some, some bare knuckle stuff. What I love is the sound of these shots. Leg kick, I love that leg kick animation. Next up, this one's titled Striking Game April Update, Overhand Interactive. And this one right there, they were showing some, some blocking, some defense. So some check-in, some dynamic blocking and movements. So right there, you see opponent checks a, checks a leg kick right there. Beautiful leg kick check. Leg kick check with the other leg, with both legs. And you've got this, you've got this guard right there. And you can check kicks with that guard. Of course, we don't know how all of this works. We don't know what the controls are exactly. We know what you can block and what you can guard, but right away, you can kind of see you can kind of see what the what the vision is, where they're going with it. Some additional boxing animations they added right there. Some head movement, dip into the left, coming up with the jab, coming up with the left hook to the body, coming up with the right hook to the to the body right there. And then this, this one right here was posted just a few hours ago. And dude, this is looking absolutely stunning. Now this right here, they're showing just boxing. So it looks like in this game, there's going to be a section where we're all, we're going to be able to just box. You've got the, the boxing headgear. You've got the boxing gloves. You've got the, 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 the shoes. You've got your nut protector. You've got the ring and the movement that they were showing right here. The way that the boxing combinations were flowing. The way they were flowing from head movement. The fluidity of it, bro. It is looking so insanely good. Watch this. 
This is our first run at integrating boxing specific movements into our, into our game. Right there, showing some of the locomotion. Of course, all a work in progress. Some of the head movement. I love how it's all it's all in the legs, the bend. And look at that. I just I love the fluidity of when you slip. There is no break in between. You slip and you're coming up into the shot. You're not returning to the center before. I mean, look at the fluidity of these combinations, bro. Look at that. Nice jab to the body. Backwards movement. Switch the guard. And look at that cut in angle. Boom, angle. <laughs> He cuts an angle to... Oh my goodness. The rolling under the knee. Boom! As he sets him down right there. So, what I was saying that I really, really like is I'm watching this. One thing that it's like I'm so happy that... that uh, it's already in the game. They don't even have to worry about that right now. Is a lot of times when I play these newer games, like Undisputed Boxing had this issue, still has this issue, is that not every single head movement you do flows smoothly into a punch. So what happens a lot of times is when you move your head, rather than the head movement flowing directly into your counter, your fighter will move the head, return the head back to the center, before you can then throw a counter shot. And it makes everything so slow and sluggish. And it actually makes it very difficult to line up counters. Because what then happens is, if your opponent were to throw, say, a one-two combination at you, and you slip the one, when you go to counter the two, your head should already be off an angle. So if I slip, my head should be off an angle as I'm coming with the counter. But then what happens in a game like Undisputed, for example, is you slip, you, your head comes back to the center, and then you go to throw the two. And then when you go to throw the two, the one two that they're th that they're throwing at you, the two lands. So the one will whiff, and then as you bring your head back to then throw the two, their cross lands. But as you watch this game, you're noticing that when they slip, the counter is f flowing from the slip. There's no slip, and then go. It's the, that fluidity cr allows you to create all kinds of counter opportunities. And it's a lot of work because there are multiple directions that you can counter when you move your head. You can pull and then throw a cross. You can pull and throw a left hook. You can slip to your right and throw a left hook. You can slip to your right and throw a right uppercut. You can slip to your right and throw a cross. You can slip to your right and throw a jab. You can slip to your right and throw a left uppercut. You can slip to your right and throw a left overhand. You can slip to your right, roll to the other side. The combinations are fucking endless. And it's, I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. It is painstaking to go through each one and make sure that it is all fluid. And from what I'm seeing from these counters, it doesn't seem like there is any, any uh, slip that returns your head to the center first before you can then counter. And that is huge. That is huge. I can't tell you how big that is. It is going to make this game feel absolutely fluid as you're playing. I already know. I don't even know to pick up. I don't need to pick up the game to know that it's going to feel so much more fluid to play. Not to mention, this game has actual real combos where you throw a jab before your hand returns to base. The other hand is already going. There's some real combinations going. You see the rotation of the hips. Every shot they're throwing feels like they're it's actually real. This is stunning work, bro. Let's watch this again. Look at that. Watch the fluidity of the slips into the combos, bro. There is no break. There is no pause when you move the head and then enter. Oh, <laughs> that is so beautiful. 
That is so beautiful. These punch animations are gorgeous as well. And I, I'm also loving how there doesn't seem to be a break between after you throw a punch, before you can actually pull back. Like, dude, this game is gonna be so freaking fluid. They are literally solving two of my biggest pet peeves with Undisputed. And the game is, yo, this is incredible. This is absolutely amazing. And I, I, I cannot wait. I can't wait to see where this thing goes. Of course, the knockdowns are gonna need some work. They they're falling down in slow motion right now, right? It's gonna, you know, it kind of has to be uh, more, like more emphatic, right? Because it's like it's a human body dropping, and it kind of drops like a marionette, right? But I'm pretty sure all of that is what they're going to fix. I just want to say, bro, I am just blown away at, at where this game is right now. The other thing I was talking about there is. When you throw a punch, I'm noticing it. When you throw a shot in the game, the game is not waiting for your punch to retract all the way before you can back out. You're not stuck right there in the mud. You can throw and... Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Overhand interactive. This is incredible. This is incredible. Absolutely. Kudos. Great work. I've already watched this goddamn clip. A million damn times I'm exaggerating of course but I've watched this so many freaking times I cannot wait to see more I don't know man I want to get involved I want to get involved I want to get my hands on this game can I can I please test the game with you guys is there a way I can get involved can you like you know send me something somehow I'll sign an NDA I don't care I want to I want to test this I want to see how this game plays because right now this is looking like this is just this is just looking stunning. It's looking absolutely great. And I love that I'm seeing improvement every single time they upload a new clip. Something is improving. Something is different. And in a good way. Better. Look at these look, look at these beautiful angles. Whew. Everything flowing in unison. Head movement into into counters, head movement into lunges, head movement into counters mixed with lunges, counter, lunge, head movement, there's no break, no everything, seamless, this is what a boxing game should feel like, and right there, vulnerability, they already have a vulnerability system working, I don't know exactly how it's working, but they already have a vulnerability system in play, like bro, no complaints, no complaints at the moment, and I wish these guys nothing but the best. If you guys enjoyed this video, look in the description below. Go right ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stay tuned for when they upload another update. I don't know when it's going to come, but man, this is good. This is very good. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you boys later. Peace out. Have a good one.